Hello, and this is Anime Dude. We're gonna do something a little bit different this time. I've never tried this game before, but we're gonna give it a shot. It's Deadhead Fred. Let's see what happens. Hopefully the load times won't be as bad as the Winx game. Nothing can beat that game. That was the longest time period I've ever set on my ass to do anything. Holy shit, that was quick. Alright, we gotta wait for the little swirly thing. Click. Click. Come on. Checking the memory stick. Also, I'm playing this blind, so, uh, never tried it before until now. D3 Publisher. Nah. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? <laughs> that was awesome. I'm gonna like this game. There's a lot of violence in this game. Oh, and another loading screen. game. Let's see what this does. Tick tock, tick tock, waiting for the loads to stop. Also, Jimbo's not with me on this video, so all you Monster Hunter fans, Hottest scream. threads in town. That's the No Frills Boutique, Uptown Hope Falls. It costs big bucks to dress like a million dollars. Now to the news. Our top story, respected town benefactor Ulysses Pitt has oh, once again move. assured no, visiting environmental officials that the output of the Pitt nuclear power plant this is well within is safety different. limits and that Am there have be been no adverse effects way? on Hope Falls and the surrounding area. We caught up with Mr. Pitt outside the Montezuma Casino earlier today. Wow, they Mr. Pitt, stole the Mr. Metal Gear Pitt, from Shadow Can Shadow you Bases. comment on the environmental impact report filed by the regulatory commission? Yeah, I can comment on it. There's it's another one. That's what it is. Nuclear power is the future. And I got nothing but the best interests of Hope Falls in mind. If them Washington air can't see that I'm just a philanthropist who likes to spread his wealth for the betterment of the people, no. Mr. Ulysses Pitt. Hope Falls okay. and the Officially this game has went to the Richter scale of awesome. his continued efforts for the improvement of Hope Falls. And now, back to our musical programming. This is PNS. Well, hello Whoa. there. Look who finally decided to wake up. What the fuck's wrong with your face, dude? You look like a monkey. Mm. 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 That won't do at all. <laughs> Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Easy, easy with the oh, drill. Don't be a baby. This is nothing compared to everything else you've been through tonight. Ah. See? That wasn't so bad, was it? Yo, well, it wasn't so hot from where I was sitting. Who the hell are you? Steiner. Dr. So, Frederick a magical Steiner. drill But makes you already knew talk. that, didn't you? I can't say I've had the pleasure. Uh, Doc, if it ain't too much trouble. Too much? Oh. Right. I suppose it couldn't hurt to let you stand up. But please, take it slowly. Your equilibrium isn't what it used to be, is it? Afraid I wouldn't know. Whoa, now. I said take it slowly. Whoa. You've been through quite a lot. Come on, come on. So you don't Raise remember the camera anything? Nope. Tell you the truth, Doc, my brain feels like I've been on a two-week bender. Everything's kind of hazy. Not terribly surprising, really. Fairly common side effects. What with you being dead and all. Uh, just a damn minute, Doc. Just, just, just stop. Stop. What do you mean, dead? Let me put it to you as simply as I can. Your name is Fred. You are, or were, well, are, a private investigator. You are, or were, investigating my boss, a former boss, one Mr. Ulysses S. Pitt. Pitt? Oh. That rings a bell. Yeah, I'm yes, still here, not guys. Surprising. Just he runs the whole town of Hope Falls these days. Well, Mr. Pitt found out now, that you were snooping around and thought you were getting too close. So he set you up and had you killed. And where exactly do you fit into this grim picture? I was hired by Mr. Pitt to help bring his nuclear power plant online. 
Had I known that he was going to cut so many corners to do what he's done to the people the animation and creatures on this of this beats town. Jack and Dex anyway, me. I was on my way back here to the lab this evening when I found your body lying in the sludge dump behind the power plant. I brought you back here because I thought perhaps I could help. I guess I do owe you a I'm a necrophiliac. You really you I'll help you one piece again. if you yes. measure me well, while you're dead. Mostly. Mostly? What's that supposed to mean? So wait, wait, wait. There's this small still matter still happen if you were a of your head. My head? What would that be? What about my head? Oh, well, uh, perhaps you should take a look for yourself. And look in the broken bloody mirror. What the fuck? <laughs> what have you done to me? <laughs> please, please, let me explain. You've got about two seconds what? before I rip what? off your head and what? make us identical twins. Now where is my friggin' head? Gone. They. Wait, it's you just said the bit. Now you're gonna say he wanted friggin'. it as a trophy. He does that to his enemies. He sent it to me, and I had to do what he said. But your brain, I saved your brain, and your body is almost as good as it ever was. Better in some ways. Yeah, but I'm a freak! Yes, I, I mean, no. I mean, you can still find it. So Your head, I mean, it won't too. be easy. But Pitt has it. When you take care of him for me, you can get it back. Huh. Please, Fred, this kind of reminds think me about of Psychonauts. It. What good would it do you to I kill would, except me? Except for a version that I would really like. Thank you. Thank you. I can be a great help to you. You won't regret it. I already do. So, yeah, let's trust the freaking what's next? doctor. Where do I start? First things first. You've had quite a day. This is kind of make sure that my repairs are solid before you head out. Um, no pun intended, of course. But while we're on the subject of heads, there are also some advantages to your current cranial situation that I think you'll find quite handy. Oh. I'd like to, as they say, is put you through like the paces before I send you back out into the world. Rip body parts out, and make them die. Maybe. Oh, we get to control our character now. Not yet, though. Now that you're alive again, relatively, I want to run a full diagnostic and make sure everything's in working order. Okay. Hmm, where to begin? We use the analog stick to run and the X button to jump. Yeah, that's pretty standard. Oh. The hell? Use the R button to block. And use the R button and the control stick to move the camp. What the? That is a bad idea. That is a very, very bad idea. Excellent. Are you ready to hit something now? Yeah. Oh. You're damn right I am. Oh, yes, well, let me just, uh... What the hell is that thing? There you go. Let's oh. see what you can do. Let's Give make a bloody for. mess. <laughs> Not a bad idea. All right. Oh, that's an auto log. Wait. So the X button is the jump button too. You can combo and jump. Oh, that is good. Bloody gore. <laughs> oh no! The elevator! You expecting company, Doc? No! Now stay put, Fred. Stay in here and be quiet, no matter what you might hear. I'll okay, try to get do. rid of whoever this is. You're gonna die. And I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> you have an obsession with blood, creepy dude. Adolf Hitler is in this Mr. game. Mr. Pitt, what a pleasure, sir. What brings you to my humble manor at such a late hour? You can save the pleasantries, Doctor. I think you might have some idea why we're here. <laughs> no, sir. I can't imagine why you would... Cut the crap, Steiner. That absent-minded professor routine ain't cutting the mustard no more. <laughs> really, Lefty? Mr. Pitt, I have no idea what you mean. 
I was about to spit it out for <laughs> This you. has been Anime Dude, and I'll be right back.